Switching gears, we have an update on Kiki Palmer and her, there we go, Al, you just said it, and her baby daddy, Jesse Darius Jackson. All right, let's get into this. Kiki has decided to extend the restraining order against Darius for six more months until their new court date, which is scheduled for July. According to page six, the couple is now engaged in mediation before a private judge. This is sad because, again, she just celebrated that and now she got to go to this. Oh. Are you hoping this couple will work it out and be back together? Or should they stay far, far away from each other? Al, what do you think? You know, I'm not in that relationship. And only Kiki and Darius knows this. Um, this is concerning, though. I mean, that she's keeping the restraining order in, in, in order. I mean, especially after we saw all the new development, her emails to him, her texts to him. I think for me in this relationship, as far as taking stake into it, I'm just going to stay out of it. Because for me, I need to see more evidence, right? I want to see the entire video. I want to see who's attacking who and who did what to who. Um, and I just hate the fact that we have to mix these two stories together, even though I did just kind of say it, because she is on such a high. So I, I don't know. It just got me feeling some kind of way. And I would rather them to take this off their internet, take this off of social media, take this off of the public eye and try to figure out what they're going to do because they do have a beautiful young child that they still have to raise together. Blaine, what are your thoughts? Uh, as a parent, I'm thinking she's doing it for custody reasons because I had I, I had custody battle with my baby mama or with my daughters. So it, it will hold more weight in the court for her to, to keep that restraining order. But I think they still have a sexual chemistry. I personally believe that mm -hmm. they still might be getting it in with each other. The restraining mm -hmm. order ain't gonna stop that. But when it comes down to the legalities of it all, I think she wants to be have sole possession of her children. So I can understand her coming in it from that aspect. But on the father's right side, cause y'all know I'm he, she, we. I've been on his side and on her side. From the father's right aspect, it looks bad because they give mothers all the rights. I know what they're putting out in the news, but that does not mean that he is not a good on hands dad. But for legality reasons and for who she is and where her career is going, I think it's a great business move. I think it's a smart move. Somebody has advised her right. I just hope they work it out and not in the public. You, you know what sucks in these kind of cases? I have a really good friend of mine that's going through this uh, a, a really, really nasty battle, custody battle with her uh, baby daddy. And a lot of times he can get on social media and be reckless and run his mouth. And it's just like, oh, he's just trying to be a good father to his child. And if he posts one Instagram picture, like pretending to do his kid's hair, it's father of the year, right? Right. And yes, there are men that are definitely being unlawful, horribly kept away from the kids. And there's bitter baby mamas, of course. But then the mother that I know of, any reaction she gives is deemed as she's an unstable, bitter woman. Yeah. And it's just like, I just feel like it's so complicated. And then none of us are in their relationship. And I know I shaded him in the beginning only because the track record with Kiki has been unproblematic. We've all said she grew up before our eyes. We've never heard of Kiki being in a mess like this until the pairing with this guy. And now it's just so hard. I hope they can work it out and have at least a calm, co-parenting relationship yeah. and get past this.